104.5 the team 104.5 the team.com on the phone right now maple hill high school sophomore connor hall when we talk about guys that can do it all in sports they're versatile they've got a varied up game well this kid can do it all on the field of play and off the field of play connor hall a three sport athlete at maple hill jv soccer basketball baseball but also a pretty big passion for sports media so connor tell us exactly what it is that you do well, good morning, Brady. It's an honor to be on the show today. Thank you for having me. So on the co- on the field, I play soccer, basketball, and baseball for my school and for also all-star team and rec teams. And on the media side, I work for 518sports.com. Um, I also work for the Cube, which I live stream uh, Maple Hill b- basketball games on a branch of our high school Cube network. I also founded the new sports media club at Maple Hill, and our athletic director, Dave Austin, has done a good job as the leader of that. Connor, what made you want to get into sports media? Because when I was a sophomore in high school, I had no idea what I wanted to do. My biggest concern was uh, was trying to figure out where I could get the giant cookies in the Shenandoah cafeteria. I love writing about sports because there's always something to write about. Like somebody's always breaking a record. Somebody's always having a career high night, and... I like to relate it to like a TV series. Every episode's different. There's never been a sports game that's been the exact same as another one. And it's just a new player steps up every game, and that's what I love about it. You've already gotten to do quite a number of cool things as a member of the sports media. Tell us about some of the things you've done or the places you've been or what you've covered so far. No, I cover a lot of the Maple Hill sectional games, which is pretty cool because during sectional time, it's a whole different atmosphere. And I also traveled to New York City for Dick's High School National Championship Games in Madison Square Garden. And there I interviewed some of the biggest names in basketball, such as D'Angelo Russell, Dwayne Bacon, Ben Simmons. You know, it was just a great opportunity to really see what basketball is like outside of my little hometown. Armin Williams, our program director here on air every day, 3 to 7, right here on 104.5 The Team. I hope he's listening because I want to go to things like that. I want to go to to Madison Square Garden for the Dix High School National Championship Games, talk to Ben Simmons, talk to D'Angelo Russell. I want to be at things like that. So I hope hope Armin's listening. Connor, you've got an older brother on the varsity hoop team at Maple Hill. What's it like broadcasting him? Are you extra critical of him on these broadcasts? Um, it depends on the situation. Sometimes, you know, other times I'm obviously supportive of them. You know, it's just cool having a brother on the team to, that you're broadcasting for. When you're in sports media, Connor, I know how important your phone is to you. So how many Twitter accounts do you run? Uh, three. My personal account, Seahaw Sidelines, and then I have a Cowboys account. So if you're passionate about local sports, you can follow Connor on Twitter at Seahall Sidelines. And Connor, what do you think the ultimate career goal is? Have you given any thought to about it if you want to do this for a living? Uh, yeah, obviously the main goal of any young writer is to work for Sports Center. But first, I'd like to attend a college for sports communication and see where that really takes me from there. Now, you're not the only local kid doing this. You're actually part of a bigger network of writers, and you guys have a pretty big following locally. So what's the reception been like? You know, there's always been these accounts that really pop up and try and cover all the high school sports. And my buddy Dylan Rosher with 518sports.com, he's really done a great job of staying committed to ours. So we have become one of the biggest Section 2 accounts to really cover all the sports you know most accounts just cover baseball or basketball and we have a good team here that tries to cover everything we know you're a three-sport athlete we know you've got practice so how much of the rest of your time is filled with homework versus extracurricular activities like writing you know homework it can take me anywhere from half an hour to three or four hours and then once i'm done with that i typically try to shoot in an article or two which Sometimes can have me up very late, <laughs> later than I would like, but I love doing it, so it's all worth it. Well, uh, during the week, I get in at 6 a.m., and I stay up until about midnight watching games and stuff, so I don't get as much sleep as I would like either. How long, What time are you going to bed? Be honest here. Uh, typically around 11 o'clock. If there's good sport games on, then sometimes later, sometimes earlier.
Well, 11 o'clock, Connor, you're doing better than you think you are because I get about four and a half, five hours of sleep at night. So count your blessings on getting your, your six and a half, seven and a half hours of sleep. And Connor, if we want to watch Maple Hill Athletics or we want to watch what you cover, how can we find it online? Um, MH Athletics, well, you can follow them on Twitter and they'll be shooting out the links for the Cube Network. You can download the app, the Cube, and all our games should be on there. All right, sounds good. Hey, Connor, look, best of luck in uh, best of luck. Now we're in basketball season. Best of luck uh, on the court, and then hey, best of luck with everything you're doing off the court. It's a great thing. Thank you very much.